Welcome back to Cyber City of Galilee DSMME on this November 4th. November 4th is the feast of a great saint, Saint Charles Borromeo. And Saint Charles Borromeo actually became Bishop of Milan. And he was alive by God's providence during the time of a lot of upheaval in the church. And he was a very intelligent um, cardinal in the church who had a very, very deep faith. And so any abuse against the church hurt him, I think, personally, very deeply, as it should us. And so as we really think of St. Charles Borromeo in this 16th century, does that provide a clue to the upheaval that I mentioned that he began fighting? He really kind of headed what is called the Counter-Reformation. And so if this is counter, it's against another Reformation. And what was that Reformation that he fought against? The Protestant Reformation. And I think that's very, very important because as we Catholics would believe, the Protestants broke away and didn't take the entire thing with them because they broke from it. And therefore, if you really love them, you would love for them to have the entire faith, which we, again, call the Catholic faith. Now, were there abuses in the church? Of course, there will always be. How come? Because the likes of me and you live the faith and we're not perfect. And people can watch us and say, if you were supposed to be the perfection of the Catholic church, the church has a problem. It's called me. It's called you. However, obviously, the church herself is the mystical body of Christ we being its members, so the fault's here, but it's not in Christ himself. St. Charles Borromeo knew this so clearly. So he, along with some other really great saints at that time, fought against that Protestant Reformation and therefore became the Counter-Reformation. Who were some of the other great saints, too, in particular that I can easily name? St. Ignatius Loyola, who at that point in time raised up a whole company of Jesus, which we call today the Society of Jesus. It's also called the Company. It was the followers of Christ himself. And so he named it very beautifully, I think, the Friends of Jesus. Get out there and bring more to him in the beauty of the Catholic faith. So it's the Company of Jesus. It's the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits. And then there was another one, St. Philip Neri. St. Philip Neri was a bit of a goofball, but a mystic. He would roam the streets of Rome. In other words, he would be out and about, and he actually set up the oratory whereby people could come and live a religious life also, or a priest could come and join and live a community life, which I think is a very prudent idea. But in any case, St. Philip Neri had an incredible sense of humor. His feast day is celebrated in May, so I'm not gonna highlight him today. But all three of these were great friends who worked together again in this counter-reformation. And it's very beautiful that if you go to the Church of St. Charles on Borromeo, on the Corso, that you can actually see his heart because his heart did not disintegrate and so I think how beautiful it is that God points out with this beautiful relic, the fact that he is he, his own heart, the Sacred Heart of Jesus is so pleased with the heart of St. Charles Borromeo. And on this feast day, it's the feast of a wonderful priest friend of mine, Father Stosh Daly, it's the birthday of him. So pray for Father Stosh Daly in Columbus, Ohio on this beautiful feast day. And remember too, that it was Charles Borromeo who set up the seminaries so that they could instruct correctly the young men who would become priests. And I think that's an incredible, incredible gift that he left to the church among his many others. Blessed Feast of St. Charles Borromeo, signing off from Cyber Sea of Galilee, DSMME, with Jesus and the heart of his mother, Mary.